Hey guys, this is Seth Turan, and I'm here to show you the email commands today. So let's just jump right in. We're going to go under email commands under the toolbox, and you'll notice we have a command that says connect to mail server. So we're going to drag this in, and this is going to set up all of our basic settings for our other email commands that we want to use. So for instance, I'm going to be using the username. This is a POP3 account that I have set up on a server, so you're going to put in whatever information uh, you, you have for your server. I'm going to use a username set at ubotcode.com. Uh, now this can be different depending on your server. For in, in the case of what I'm using, this is just the email address. My password is none of your business, and the server is mail.ubacter.com. And we're going to leave port the default 110. Most of the time that's what it's going to be, although we do have other common email ports listed in here as well. So we hit OK, and we see that we still have a drag commands here. So what we can do with that is simply drag our other email commands into this connect to mail server command. So for instance, if we want to be able to pull the email into a table and then work with the table, then we can use create table from emails. All right? And we'll just make one up. We'll call it mail. And then if we run this, it's connecting, it's checking the emails. It was pretty quick. All right, now we can go to the or debugger. And as you can see, we have our mail table here and the different rows. Each row represents one email, and then the various columns represent the different values of the email. So column 0 is the from line, column 1 is the to line, column 2 is the subject, this is the date, and this is the body of the email. So we can go through and see the various emails that we have in here. Now, a lot of the time, what we need to do with the, our email when we want to play with it is we want to verify accounts on uh, various websites. So because it's such a common action, we decided to go ahead and make a command out of it. And that is the verify emails command. We're going to drag that in. Now, when we drag it in, we get a, we get a ver verify email wizard. All right, and this is just to help us pick the right values for the command. And we have our four emails here. All right, so this one is a confirmation email. And when you click on it, it's going to show the contents of the email over in this window. And down here are what it's actually going to put in for the values of the command. Now, the way that this works is when you connect to your email server, it's going to find emails based on whatever subject you have here. And it's going to open those emails up, and then it's going to click the verification link based on what you tell it the verification link should look like. Now, of course, it's going to be different every time. So what you want to do is you want to use wildcards to make it so that we can cover over uh, the randomized part. So for instance, the subject of this email is confirmation code, and then it's got this uh, string of numbers and letters here. Now, this is going to be different every time, so let's just replace that with a asterisk, and that's a wild card, so that can be anything. Now down here, by default, it's going to pick the, the first link in the email. And as you can see, if we click this drop-down, you can look at all of the different links here. All right, and you can actually see in the email which link it is that you want, so you can always pick the right one. Uh, for instance, we don't want our tracking pixel. That's not useful for us. Uh, instead, we want the verify email link. 
All right, now we're going to do the same thing that we did in the subject. We're going to take this long string right here, and we're just going to make it an asterisk. Now we're going to hit OK. And as you can see, it filled in our values for us based on what we did in the wizard. So it made it really easy to figure out how we're going to find these emails and then click the right link to verify our accounts. Now, one other thing to note really quick before you hit OK is that it can delete the emails for you after you verify them. And you have a few options here. You can either delete all of the emails, or you can delete just the ones that you process the verifications for, or you can do none at all. I'm going to click none at all. And I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to run this again. And what it's doing is doing all of this in secret, but it's going in and it's finding the right email uh, according to the subject that we told it here, and then it's finding the right link according to this right here, and it's clicking that link for us. It's verifying our account. If we had a thousand of these accounts, uh, then it would find every single one and it would verify all of them for you just like that. So it makes it really super easy. All right, so thanks for listening, and I will see you next time.